Welcome everybody, my name is Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way how we can use Coinbase Pro. First, I'm going to show you all the features and how we can manage in Coinbase Pro, and then I will show you also how we can avoid fees from Coinbase. That's like my trick on the end of the video. So let's start. Now, when you come here to Pro Coinbase, on the left side, left top side, you're going to see Select Market here. Here, you can simply click and right here, what do you want to actually trade? So you can really choose Uniswap with the USD or with the Bitcoin or Ethereum. You can simply choose what you want. Bitcoin, Ethereum right here. So when I'm going to click Euro here, I can simply choose Ethereum Euro. Then you're going to see your asset. This is the asset of your uh, currency that you have. And then uh, this is the asset of the coin that you want to trade. Now you can simply click deposit and you can deposit uh, Bitcoin uh, or simple your currency. I have Euro. So I'll click Euro and I can deposit from my bank account or I can deposit from coinbase.com. That's uh, like my account I have. And I have 900 Euro here, 950. So what can I do? I can from coinbase.com to default portfolio, amount, maximal, can be 500, like 900. And I can easily deposit. No fee, unlimited. So this is how we can deposit from Coinbase. So what you can do is you can actually wire your money directly to Coinbase Pro. Or you can just deposit to Coinbase through like debit card or credit card or also for SEPA transfer. And then just simply transfer it to Pro Coinbase. Now you see it right here. So we have Ethereum, Euro. What can I do? is to go here and buy and I can go let's say for a month 100 euro I can buy 0, 0.0 ethereum and I'm going to pay a fee 0 0.50 what you can see right here is when I would go to coinbase and I would like to buy ethereum here view asset and I would like to buy let's say also for 100 euro Look at this. I'm going to pay 384 fee, but on Coinbase Pro, I'm going to pay only 0 0.50. You can see right here that Coinbase Pro is much cheaper comparing to just Coinbase. So I don't recommend buying uh, cryptocurrencies on Coinbase. Just buy it on Pro Coinbase and you're going to save a lot of money. So you can simply 100 and you can then place buy, buy order. Then you would see the order right here. On the right bottom side, you would see your orders, the fields, uh, or open orders right here. Fields right here that you can see that, okay, I can buy for 25 euro. Place by order. I can see the buy order here. It's filled. I can see the fee. And then I see fields here. And then I would see right here when it's going to be executed. Also, what you can do, you can buy by limit, a month, also how much, like let's say one Ethereum, a limit price 100 euro. And you can also read about trading, trading rules here. So limit orders, limit orders in order to buy or sell a specific quantity of asset at specific specified price, right? So I want to buy one Ethereum at limit price 100 euro. And when it's going to get 100 euro, I'm going to buy one Ethereum. You can go also time in force policy. You can also again read it in Coinbase rules. What you can do then is to go also with stop. And that's the same thing. Stop orders. You can read it too here. Stop orders and instructions to post an order to buy or sell a specific quantity of an asset, but only if and when the last trade price on order book equals or surprises the stop price. So stop price at 100 euro of one Ethereum, and then you can add also limit price, right? 100 for one Ethereum and stop price. So you can really test it out and play around as much as you want. And using Coinbase Pro is really simple, so you don't have truly uh, worry about anything then when you would go to right top you can simply go to orders but before that you can also sell 
it's the same style with a limit with a stop limit but it's just selling not buying and then you're gonna see amount here and you see it here amount 100 ethereum that you can sell that would cost fee of 679 euro with total 135,000. So this is how you can also sell. And what you can do also is to withdraw the money from Pro Coinbase. So I would click here, withdraw. And now you have option to withdraw Euro. And you can SEPA transfer directly to your bank account or you can go to coinbase.com account with the default portfolio. So they will be from Coinbase Pro default portfolio to coinbase.com. Uh, also without any fee at all and then you can withdraw it from coinbase or do whatever whatever you want like you can withdraw it to paypal now also what you can do is to just like go sepa transfer and withdraw it now when you want to go to the right top you can see orders these are the orders that are opened then those which are filled so i can see the field right now that i put ethereum and euro size fill fill price b0.12 and then I got to see fees here and now you're going to see fees. So when you place an order at the market price that gets filled immediately, you are considered a taker and will pay a fee between 0 0.04 and 0 0.50. When you place an order, which is not immediately matched by an existing order, that the order is placed to the order book. If another customer places an order that matches yours, you are considered the maker and will, will pay a fee between 0 0.00 and 0 0.50. So, and when you place an order that gets article matched, immediately you pay a taker fee for that option. The remainder of the order is placed on the order book and when it match, it's going to make your order. So, you see right here, up to 10k, you got 0 0.50. Maker fee is again 0 0.50. 10 to 50k, you got taker fee and maker fee. And these are really similar. Yes, you got like, okay, 50 to 100k. Taker is 0.25, Maker is 0.15. So the, the fees are really low. You can also create a new portfolio in the top left. And create a nickname here. Then you got the fields here. And you can click here on portfolios. So I can create a for portfolio. And you would have the portfolios here. Again, the same style. You're going to see the deposits here. And withdrawals here that you can withdraw. On the right side, you can deposit here. Again, the same style as we were in a dashboard that you can simply deposit from the euro. Or you can withdraw the money. And on the top right, you can see the banking here. You would see the banking accounts here. Also with the email address, you can edit the profile, but you would go to the Coinbase and settings to edit those. You would see limits here, daily withdrawal limit, API setting statements. Also what you can do, is to set up the taxes, but that's pretty much it. And this is how you can use Pro Coinbase. So they actually, you don't want, you want to buy a Bitcoin and every other cryptocurrency from Pro Coinbase. You don't want to do it actually through Coinbase.com. That's just my recommendation. Also, what I want to show you is definitely, guys. Let's say that you have 10k and you want to buy Ethereum. Let's say that you want to invest in cryptocurrency and you're a first time investor. And let's say Ethereum is 1,300 euro. The worst thing you can do is to buy it right now when it's the highest peak. Most people are doing that because they're expecting to go even higher. That's too risky. What you want to do is not to time the market, but just buy the dips. And hold longer term. So look what I did. I was buying... I was buying... Uh, Ethereum three years ago at like 600 euro. Then it dropped and I waited three years until it's going to get up. Like never sell. Ethereum Bitcoin, just don't sell it even when you buy it on a high price. And what you want to do is this. So you got 10k euro and you want to buy Ethereum. Let's say that Ethereum drops, Ethereum drops to, I don't know, 1,100. You know what most people are doing? They are going to put whole 10k into Ethereum at this price. What you want to do is to add not 10k, but you want to invest only 500 euro. Now, Ethereum is going to drop, let's say, 
900 euro. And you want to go to 1000. Ethereum is going to drop again to 700. Again, go with one. Do you see what I'm doing? On monthly basis, just do this. Step by step, reinvest the money, like invest the money on a timely basis when it's going to drop and buy the dips. And this is how you're going to completely dominate everything. Most people are emotional. Ethereum is going to be 1,300 euro and they're going to put the whole 10k into it. Right? And then they're going to lose a lot of money. And this is like really bad idea because, okay, oh, I got 10k. I don't know what to do with those money. I'm going to invest it. Don't do that. Also, another thing, guys. What you want to do is to... My recommendation. From your portfolio, let's say that you make... Okay, for the sake of the argument, let's say that you make 10k a month. From your business, day job, whatever. 10k a month. What you want to do, have only 5% or 5 to 8% in, in Ethereum and cryptocurrency. So let's say that I'm going to have 800 euro a month. I will invest to, you can go with 60% of this to altcoins, 40% to safe or 50-50, 50% for altcoins that you can check out every day. But you have problem with altcoins that you, can, that you need to actually check it out every day how they are performing. So I wouldn't really do that. I would go like Ethereum, uh, just TRX or just like normal normal coins, not old coins that can like they're not that great. And when you're gonna have it, like let's say 10k, three to eight percent, then you want to go to ETFs, which got good performing for QQQ, or you go with uh, some technology. ETFs, check it out. That's like a group of, I don't know, 1,000 stocks in specific segments. I invested in that and you want to go like 60% to those. So if 10K, let's say 1K are your expensive, then you have 9K and from 9K you want to go to uh, 3 to 8%, then ETF you got 68% covered and then you got left, I don't know, 25% or like 30% of your investment. And 30% of investment, what I would do is that I would actually invest it to go and invest it to a group of stocks that you actually like. So that's what I'm doing, right? I have on trading 212, I have stocks like, let's say Shopify, Wix, Square, Etsy, Wayfair and others that I really believe and also Asana and Cloudflare. And those are the stocks that I really believe in. So, and this is the, this is the way how you're going to win market and what do you want to focus all our e-commerce hydrogen maybe but i would be really care careful hydrogen and payment processing another thing is that you don't want to actually um just find the stocks that you really like and the companies that you like did you actually check out the ceo that if you like netflix invest to netflix and just believe in the company because when you're going to believe in the company you're not going to sell it straight away also if you believe in the coins like ethereum etc and you check it out because you like really much cryptocurrencies you're going to make a lot of money in long term maybe not short term but long term yeah because like cryptocurrency are going to be here for a while and they're going to be good and i also believe in that so i hope i kind of helped you uh, what kind of strategy you can do you just have to be really careful about if you want to day trade the crypto that's risky but it's possible too but you really need to be emotional stable and have golden hands, how they say it on Reddit. So to summarize this whole video, definitely buy cryptocurrencies through Coinbase Pro. Don't buy it through Coinbase because it's gonna save fees. Withdraw it to SEPA only because you're gonna save 0 0.15 cents. Uh, that's a fee like 0 0.15 cents is a fee on debit and credit cards two euro but when you're gonna have millions on coinbase pro i mean you don't really care about the two euro fee of course <laughs> and what i mentioned in the beginning definitely focus on this what i painted out you need to go with this strategy if you want to invest long term don't put everything just to one thing and just lose your money that's a bad thing so thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in the comments. If this video was helpful, you can support me. So subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, I don't know even how to talk right now. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Have a great day and goodbye.